The Powerpuff Girls is a name everyone knows. It's a Cartoon Network classic. Watching these three heroes fight villains to protect their city was always fun on TV, but it was eventually their jump to the big screen that would slightly ruin the reputation of the network they founded themselves on. The actual movie itself wasn't bad. In fact, people look back on it really enjoying the story. This took place before the events of the series, so we got to see how exactly the Powerpuff Girls became iconic heroes. It was a cool perspective never seen before, but even though most people had a good time watching Watching. The circumstances surrounding the film are just... yikes. Its budget was $11 million, but it only made $16.4 million in the box office. Despite making some profit, this was considered a huge box office flop, and it would not set the stage well for any future Cartoon Arc movies. So you may be asking yourself, what happened? Well, let's talk about some of the reasons this movie failed in theaters. It released on July 3rd, 2002. One of the big reasons it failed is the competition that also came out on that very day, but what especially drove attention away from the Powerpuff Girls was Men in Black 2, a sequel of an absolute hit, of course, featuring Will Smith. Not only that, but this came out the day before July 4th, so a lot of people would be off school and then go to theaters to celebrate. Why watch some cartoon girls fighting crime when you can just see Will Smith versus aliens? Also contributing to the Powerpuff Girl movie disaster is the poor marketing. You'd see a ton of ads on Cartoon Network, but outside of that, not much at all. Hi, what's your name? Ah. Cartoon Network presents Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup in The Powerpuff Girls Movie. Three mutant superheroes saving the world before bedtime. <laughs> When dealing with a theatrical release, it's not a great decision to put all your eggs in one basket, aka just Cartoon Network, but it looks like that's what happened here. The film should have gotten way more advertising than it actually did. Not only that, but the marketing didn't really have the right target audience. Some promotional material treated the Powerpuff Girls as a franchise aimed mainly towards girls, which, if you've seen the show, is very wrong. It can be enjoyed by everyone. When there's so many toys for just girls revealed, then boys are already steering away, and that's when you lose potential movie viewers. What made things even more confusing is that the actual movie was slightly different from the series, and it felt like it could be enjoyed by more mature audiences. There was a lot more violence than usual, especially in the destruction of Townsville, and kids may get scared at everything going on. So was the Powerpuff Girls movie for girls only? Teenagers only? Maybe fans of the original series? No single group seemed to be targeted here because the promotions and the actual movie were conflicting with each other, which is just one of many factors leading to less ticket sales. Series creator Craig McCracken said in a Powerpuff Girls documentary that in hindsight, maybe he wished the movie was a little sillier, a little lighter, and not so heavy the whole time. I think matching the tone of the series would have definitely brought more people on board with watching. It's also worth mentioning that the timing of this release wasn't the best it could be at all. 2002 was four years after the series began, and while the Powerpuff Girls was still a well-known name, it wasn't as popular as it was before. Also, because the movie included destruction of a city, some people compared this to the 9-11 attack. Next. If this was released maybe one or two years before, then that wouldn't have been an issue. This was Cartoon Network's first theatrical release, and it definitely paved a pretty disappointing future if you're a fan of their shows. So many more animated movies could have been made about stuff like Samurai Jack or Codename Kids Next Door, but any of those ideas would be scrapped thanks to a horrible performance from the Powerpuff Girls. Over time, any of Cartoon Network's movies would play on TV instead of having a huge budget and going to theaters. They just didn't want to take the risk and lose money again. Which which explains why they tried to keep it safe. Now, in recent years, they've been experimenting a bit, especially with a limited theatrical release of regular show the movie. Unfortunately, this Powerpuff Girls flop ruined a lot. If the timing and marketing were much better than they ended up being, we could be living in a time where animated cartoon arc movies came out once every few years, which would be awesome. But oh well, what happens happened, and we just have to accept the damage it's done. At least we can keep looking forward to the TV movies. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.